If you want to know how to control your home devices with your voice using Windows 10, that and how to do something called a shake, I'm going to show you a whole bunch of tips, Windows 10 tips and tricks. Let's do it. Hey, welcome to another Talking Tech with a Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make technology simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, tips and tricks, how to's, consider hitting that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. Well, since this channel is all about helping people do better with their technology, let's start with Quick Assist. Now, essentially what that is, it allows some people to help your friends, your family, if they're having some Windows 10 problems. So search for Quick Assist in your search bar. When that comes up, choose Give Assistance if you're the one offering the help. When that comes up, you'll see a code. That is a security code that you've got to give the recipient. Of course, the recipient will click on Get Assistance and they'll simply enter that code, get ready for you to take over their computer and help them with their Windows 10 problems. Now, to be honest, I stumbled on this by accident. I had no idea that Windows 10 can control your smart home devices with its voice. What you do is you go to your Start button and look for Katana Notebook. Click on Manage Skills. And when that comes up, what you want to do is find something called the Connected Home. Click on that. And there it is. Now you've got to enable that if it's the first time that you're using it and simply connect it to your various home automation provider and then follow the prompts. You can control them with your voice through your Windows 10 machine. Man, I'd love to hear the background story of why this feature was invented. This is the shake. Essentially, take any window, shake it across your screen, and it minimizes all the other applications that are currently open. Shake it again, and it brings them back. There's got to be a very cool, deep background story. If somebody knows it, let me know in the comments below. But it's pretty cool to be able to do this. Now this has to be one of my favorite applications, totally underutilized. We've had it for a while with Windows. It's called the Sticky Notes. Now, if you remember in the old days, Sticky Notes was simply a list of things that you can have on your screen. It has evolved a little bit beyond that. You can now log in and you can see your same notes across multiple Windows 10 devices. Very useful if you're working across multiple computers, home and at work, for example. It now has a list. Of, keeps a running total of all your notes. Of course, you can create a new note, move it around the screen, and you can see as I'm typing it, it updates the index immediately. Now, a couple of little customization that you can do, things like grouping things together by color. Visually, it's very cool to be able to do that. Of course, resize it so it suits your screen where you need it to be. Now, here's where it's improved a little bit. If you go into it and you type something like, don't forget to do this, whatever, tomorrow or a date, if you click on it, it will ask you the option, would you like to add a reminder? So that makes that note very, very valuable now. Again, if you're typing in someone's telephone number, it will now underline that. You can click on that and then it will allow you to simply dial that number straight from your Windows 10 device. Now, again, that's pretty cool. And finally, now if you type in a URL, before it wasn't clickable, now it is. There it is, so the techieguy.com, underline, click on it, open link. Some other minor customization that you can do, like bold, underline, italics. Uh, again, that just to keep it simple, I just give you prompts to remember to do something. Another totally underutilized feature is called the virtual desktop. You go to your task view at the bottom, and there it is, you can open up multiple desktop. Essentially what that is, it's a virtual environment of the same Windows 10 computer. So on the one desk view, we can have certain applications, and on another desktop, another applications. Switching between them with the shortcut, control windows left arrow key, control windows right arrow key, jumps between the various desktops. To add a new one is very, very simple. Simply add the plus sign and there it is, I've created yet another virtual desktop. Now, if you've got applications on the one desktop and you want to make it appear on the other one, no problem, simply right click on it and then choose which desktop it needs to go to. Unfortunately, you cannot relabel really these desktops, nor can you change the background, which would be a damn pity. And I really think that's something that they should work on in the future. If you want the same application to appear across all your desktops, all you're going to do is select this as an option, and there it is, my Excel spreadsheet appears across all three desktops. What's pretty cool, if you make a note or a comment in the one desktop, as you switch to the other, you'll be able to see that the same comment virtually appears on the other screens. To undo it, simply untick it, and if you want to get rid of a desktop, simply hit the X at the top. 
Now it's worth mentioning that you're not actually creating another entire computer. In other words, if you uninstall Excel or applications from the one desktop, it will remove it from your computer altogether. The idea is simply having another virtual environment so you can separate your kids' application from your own, your work from personal, etc. If you like that kind of video, up here there'll be a card to a list of other Windows 10 tips and tricks. Go check them out. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new here and check out some of these other cool videos and I'll see you on the next episode because that's Tech Simple. Cheers for now.